Happy Friday, friends. Sorry, I was pushing my time limits here. We decided we were gonna do a different project and I think, let me see this a minute. I wanna make sure this fits here. Yeah, it should work. Decided last minute um, to cut out a different design to paint this morning. So we were just finishing that up real quick. Good morning, Tracy, how are you? I'm gonna peel this off real quick. I got my little helper over here. Preston's with us this morning. Right now he is demasking our boards that we just cut so that I can start painting. Hi. He says, hello. Um, so it's gonna take me just a second to peel this off here. I keep saying I need to get the right tape so that I can do it the easy way, but I haven't done that yet. So we will get there though. Good morning, good morning. When you hop on, make sure you say hi. Let me know where you're watching from this morning. We are going to paint this cute little acorn door hanger. We're just peeling off the final pieces here of masking so that we can get started on that. And I'll show you what we're doing. So give me just a quick second here. Actually, I can show you here. Let me see this a minute, bud. Oh, that one. Feel. All right, he's got that done. So here's our little acorn. I sized it down, and that was another thing I was worried about, that I didn't size it right. So hopefully it works. Good morning, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Lisa. All right, so it's got this cute little backing. And then... Did you peel the back side of it? I did not. You can peel the back in a minute. Hold on, I'm trying to show them. And then it's got these 3D pieces that are going to go over top of it to make it, like, polka dotted and striped like this. And then I did have words, but my words did not cut out right. So we're not gonna do the words today. Um, you can do this, but you've got to be very careful with it because it will break, it's, it's fragile. So that's what we're working on today. Good morning, Rose, how are you today? We literally decided to do this, oh, maybe 15 minutes ago. And we were scrambling to get everything resized and cut out um, so that we would have time to get it done this morning with you guys. All right, I need a quick quick water break. All right, friends, here we go. I think I'm going to do the background. Let me see here. I had this all planned out actually, and now, will you run upstairs and grab me my iPad, bud? And I didn't resize it. Well, it's, it's pretty darn close. It's not perfect, so it's gonna, be slightly off but that's all right no one's gonna notice um can you do that please run upstairs and grab me my ipad I, I need it for something Comments. so i can look something up no um all right give me just a second i'm sorry i'm so unprepared this morning i'm not usually unprepared so i think i'm going to use i'll show you the colors that i want to use i'm going to use the spice pumpkin i think the bahama blue and then where did my yellow go it's like a mustardy yellow marigold. I think these are gonna be my primary colors on this this morning, along with some white, obviously, like always, and probably some black. And then I've been really bad about cleaning out my brushes when I'm done. And so I have my other cup of water sitting down here with brushes in it that I didn't take upstairs the other night. Hurry up. Thank you. I'm you waiting use, on you. Are you use a different one today? Um, no, just thank you. Keep working on that, okay? All right, I'm just gonna pull up my colors that I wanted to do here. Oh, cabinets in our thing to hold our paints, and I'm knocking them over. Mm, well, if you could just not do that, that'd be great. Guys, I am so sorry. I had plans, like I said, to do something totally different. Hi, Louise. Um, and. Well, I changed my mind. So because I changed my mind, here we go. Let's see if I can screenshot this. I don't know how to screenshot. I'm pushing the wrong buttons. There we go. <clears throat> so let me grab out, we're gonna do our background in the Bahama blue. Let's just get started with that so we're not sitting here waiting anymore. And I'm gonna point you guys down so you can see what we're doing. We're gonna be back on live tomorrow and Sunday this week. I'm having a $10 um, blank sale trying to clean out my stack of blanks that I had purchased previously from wholesalers. 
Um, that one's that. done. Yep. Thank you. And that one's done. Yep. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get, get rid of those so that way I can just start cutting my own designs and painting them live. Press, I need a um, paper plate down there, please. Good morning, Linda. Yep, bottom one. Thank you so much. Just grab one. Thank you. Um, 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 so yeah, we'll be on to do that. Let's see here. Are we going to do that? We got pumpkins to paint. Should we paint our pumpkins tomorrow morning? Um, maybe I don't know. We're going to do Monopoly, but it only takes an hour to come on live and do pumpkins. So do you want to come on and do that in the morning? And then we can play Monopoly after that. Yep. So that'll be our plan. We'll come on live tomorrow. We've got some pumpkins that we're going to paint together. So come join us to do that. And then on Sunday, I'll be live on my page with my blanks that I have and I'm selling them all for $10 with a uh, $5 flat rate shipping. So good morning, Robin. Hi, Linda, Brian, Terry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? All right. And I'm just doing, like I said, Bahama blue on my background for anybody that's just hopping on here. We're doing this cute little um, acorn door hanger that I just cut out on the Glowforge literally was just finishing up as we logged on here today to go live. Good morning, April. Good morning, Cheryl. And we have a little extra time today, so I don't have to paint too fast, but I do feel like I was rushed. I feel like I was rushed and off my game to start with, so I do apologize for not being ready for you guys. Like I said, I changed my mind. I was going to do something totally different uh, with a blank that I had purchased from a wholesaler, and I thought, no, I want to cut my own this morning and paint it live with you guys. So, morning, Louise. Morning, Maria from South Dakota. Cheryl is in Kentucky. Oh, we're going to South Dakota. Yes, tune in on Sunday, Rose. Come watch us Saturday, too, if you have time. <clears throat> we'll be here probably, I don't know, tomorrow's the weekend. We might sleep in a little, so maybe we'll come out around like 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to paint our um, pumpkins. And then we are having a Monopoly marathon, him and I, this weekend. And our Monopoly marathon sometimes last days. So we're going to order some pizza and just play Monopoly. And who usually wins? Me. Tell the truth. She always beats me. <laughs> I usually win, but we'll see. You never know. So, good morning, Vicki from South Carolina. Welcome. Good morning, Stacy. All right, here is our just base coat. I may go back over with another coat just to eliminate some of those brush strokes in a minute when it dries. And then I'm going to grab a slightly darker version of that color. Oops, I gotta make sure. I did this the other day and I painted the back side, so let me make sure this is our front. Let me find what color I wanna do. Do I want bluegrass green? I think we're gonna go with the bluegrass green for our little bit darker oh, color. Good. Over the front, good morning. Oops, Preston, you're shaking the table, bud. Do you like that one? No, to change that one. That'll be hard to cut too. He's helping me. We've got some orders, so he's helping me design some things right now while I'm painting. I think this is going to be a little too dark for my liking, so I'm actually going to mix it with the Bahama Blue and tone it down a little bit. I don't want it to be that much of a difference. It's still going to be different, but there we go. I kind of like I like that color, so I'm going to go ahead. Just double check that I've got the right side of my brush here. And I'm going to try, somebody gave me the idea for these little makeup sponges for painting these so that you don't get your sides all dirty because I'm really good at painting over my edges on these cutouts. So we're going to try this today. And I have to say so far, I like it. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Good morning, Christina. Hi, Shauna. So glad you all could make it this morning. We look to, we look to, we look forward to coming down here live. Yeah, that's perfect. Do you have um, any more names? Nope, those are it. So just go ahead and save that or put it up and just keep it, um, don't turn it off. And I'll send those to her to approve in just a bit. <clears throat> um, as I was trying to say, as we look forward to coming on here live every Friday morning 
and saying hi and chatting with everybody. So we appreciate it when you guys stop in and join us. And Preston's actually with us today. He's not always with us on Fridays. Sometimes he goes to work with his papa. Um, but he is here today. Yep. Yep, he's been a busy bee. I woke him up and I said, come on, gotta go work. He's down here and like I said, he's helping me out. He helped me with some masking and with some up. designing. I wasn't ready to wake up, but she made me. Yeah, Fridays, we gotta get busy. We got people waiting for us. <laughs> so we do this and then as soon as I'm done here, I run upstairs real quick. Fridays, he doesn't do school. We do school Monday through Thursday. Good morning, Donna. Um, <clears throat> and then I run upstairs real quick and I eat something or I at least have time to make something and I take it to my desk with me and <clears throat> log on and then I work until four. And then I do take Friday nights off from this a lot of times. We usually just do Friday mornings and then have Saturdays off, but we have a lot of orders again this weekend. So how am I doing the cutouts? I have a Glowforge, so I cut it out on my laser. <clears throat> this design will be not not the cutout design like the pattern for it but the blanks will be available um, for purchase if you would like to um, do your own so there is our second layer of our acorn let me show you here so that'll look cute just gives it a little bit different um, different color <clears throat> goodness sorry guys I should start taking my inhaler before I come down here in the mornings. So on this next part, I'm gonna do a tan color. Let's do maybe like this classic caramel for my background. And then I'm gonna do orange and a brown. Let's see, maybe just a nutmeg brown for this part. And you know what? I totally messed up because I didn't cut it in sections so this part actually is supposed to be the tan so let's cover it back up with tan and see how that works good morning kelly how are you doing do i ship to canada um i haven't yet but i'm sure i can figure that out so if you're interested let me know and i can check into shipping rates mom monday through friday school yeah well we homeschool so he actually goes to school year round he does get a little bit longer christmas break than the kids normally do in public school. I, I do get a summer break. He gets a four-week summer break. So, uh, good morning, Marsha. All right, let me see if I can fix this. I wasn't thinking that I... Your iPad. No, I'm using it. What do you need it for? It's going to take a picture of it for you. Picture of what? This and send it to the lady. No, I'll, I'll let you do that in a minute, okay? When we're done. Right now, this is what we're working on. All right, again, classic... Caramel. This one's an apple barrel color, and I'm going to do this for the top part of my acorn um, because I forgot that I didn't I didn't cut this. You can cut it in two pieces and kind of put it together um, on the back on the backing. Um, but because I um, what am I trying to say? Because I made the file smaller, I didn't cut it at the full size. Um, I didn't cut it in pieces. Good morning, D. We actually have the air on, Kelly, and I don't typically like the air, but I'm liking the air right now, so I'm not I'm not complaining too much. It's not too bad in here. But I went outside to walk the mail out for work yesterday, and I about died for the two seconds that I was out in the driveway. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna stay in the house. Typically, though, I complain if we have the air on. I don't like the air on because we don't have long enough summers to Save. to have air, I don't think. We have our long winters, I think. Good Are you morning, with Cheryl. Um, it doesn't matter. Just save it as whatever. Just save it as names, I guess, for now will work. Okay. All right, so there's our background. Hopefully, I covered that in the right spot and I don't have to. Yeah. I may have to make a few slight adjustments afterwards to cover my spots back up, but that is a-okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way, and then we're gonna work on, Preston. Excuse me. We're gonna work on this part, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna do some orange and some brown. I'm gonna try 
to do one stripe one color and the next stripe another color. We live in Michigan, so the air to me when the summer, when we get summer, I, um, I enjoy the heat. We live in the cold, you know, six or so months out of the year. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to use the very tip of this. Going camping, oh goodness, yes, that will be, <laughs> that will be a little hot, Kelly. All right, I'm gonna do the outside edges of all of this, this brown color, and then we're gonna do some orange on the inside. Where are you going, babe? Getting an iPad so I can watch your YouTube. Awesome. Just keep the volume down so that way they don't hear anything, okay? He was a little grumpy because I woke him up this morning and I said, come on, I need your help. We got lots to do. So this part is probably going to be the most tedious part. It's actually, we're almost done with it, to tell you the truth. We just got to go back over with our second coats of everything. Um, and I didn't make sure that this was the right way. Let me make sure. I don't think, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it matters too much on this one, but... The other day I painted live and I swore that I had it all set up. I marked my front so that I couldn't mess up. And then we got to the end and I had painted the wrong side. So I had to repaint, which wasn't a big deal. It was just a small piece, but I just really wanna make sure that I'm painting the right, right parts now. Sorry if I'm getting quiet here, just trying to concentrate on my little pieces. And now let me take a look at it. We're gonna do, let's do the left side, or this would be the right side, sorry. The right side on all of these is gonna be the brown. And then I'll go back through and do the orange on the other side, and then we'll switch it and go back on the other, because it goes the opposite direction. Um, so I'll worry about that in a minute after I get all of this side done. In spring and fall, not summer. Summer, I don't think the air turns off. I like the heat. I don't like it too hot though. I wish that we just had fall weather all the time would be perfect. All right, see, I'm gonna show you up close what I'm doing. So I just did the one side on these, and then this side's gonna be the orange, the second side here. I'm having a hard time following where I'm at, and then I'm gonna go through and do the same thing on the stripes that are going this way. I'm gonna do the brown first so that I don't mess this up. Let's see. Let's do, I'm gonna do the, I'm just gonna do the same side. And these lines are not perfect because, because it's me and they're not perfect. It is what it is, but they're close enough. And when I go through with the orange, it'll probably cover up some of the, um, where I've went over the lines in some of the spots. And like I said, it does not have to be perfect anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, and then I'm gonna use the tip of this other side. See if that's, still got a little color on it, but that's all right. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the orange stripes. And just try not to go over where I don't want the orange at. can tell y'all right now I'm going to get quiet for a second here just trying to do this part. Anybody that's just hopped on here, um, I'm having a $10 blank sale on some pieces that I had purchased wholesale previously from other companies. Now that I have my Glowforge, I just kind of want to 
start cutting my own things and not be painting everybody else's stuff. So that is going to be done on Sunday. If you're interested, make sure you're following me so that you get a notification when we go live. Um, and then what did I say? Oh, we're going to go live tomorrow morning, probably sometime around nine. And Preston and I have some pumpkins that we're going to paint. I think we got like a Frankenstein pumpkin cutout. So we're going to do that together tomorrow for you guys. So if you would like to watch that, make sure you're following us so that you get a notification for that as well. Now, most of this I think is perfect. I don't think much of it's going to need touched up, but there might be a few spots when it dries that do need a little bit of touch up. So I'm going to go through this with this base coat on it. And then as it dries, if I see spots that need a touch up, I'll go back in and, and hit it with that again real quick. And my words for this did not cut out right, but what was it going to say? Um, nuts about fall is what it's going to say on the front of the door hanger when it's all done. So those didn't cut out right. I'll have to redo those later, but we'll at least get the majority of our little acorn hanger done here. Hey. Hey, take your headphones off. What? Um... Those other boards now, now that we know they work, could I mask those other boards now? Not right now, but yes, you'll be able to, okay? I'd leave this table mask over Press. there. Press, yes, not right now, I just answered you. Well, let's see. I don't know, I missed this one totally somehow. All right, so there it is up front, or up close. Hi, Don. I do both, Amy. I have, I'm have. i going to start selling the blanks on my website. There's a few on there right now. And then I also can paint them. I typically just paint live and just sell the one that I have. Um, but if there's something that you see that you want painted, I could paint it for you. Or if you're looking for blanks, just let me know. If you don't see it on my website, it's dizzydesigner.com. Um, usually I update the website on the weekends. So this one's not listed on there yet, but it will be up there shortly. I'm going to go over with a second coat of this classic caramel for my top because you can still see the blue coming through where I messed up a little bit this morning when we first started. Just cover that up a little bit better. And guys, what time is it? It's only, it's only 8.52. We're going to have plenty of time. I might even start my next little project with you guys that I was going to do this morning until I changed my mind and did this instead. All right, let me move this out of the way. So then we'll have our little blank piece sit on top here. Like I said, I, I resized this this morning and I didn't size it exactly correct. So it's not lining up perfect, but it's close enough that most people are not going to notice. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. I got to touch up a few spots up here that you can see through that still needed to be blue. So I'll go back over that and get that perfected. Whoops. But in the meantime, we've got these cute little leaves to paint. And I'm gonna do those, one orange and one blue. Let me move this up here out of the way. Let's stick this over here. And I don't think it matters which way these face. So I am gonna go back to the lighter blue though so that this sticks out um, because the darker color is gonna be on the top with the polka dots. So I'm gonna change uh, what am I doing? I'm going to actually just use this little sponge again. I'm going to do one this blue and then one the orange color. And I was going to use that yellow, that marigold that I got out. And then I just didn't end up using it. So maybe, good morning from Texas. Good morning. Um... Maybe on the letters, when I get my letters recut out, maybe then I'll use some marigold on that. All 
All right, so there's a little leaf. I'm gonna use the back side of this one for some orange. I got a little bit of orange on here. I don't know if that's enough. Not quite enough, just a little bit more. Gonna have to try the sponge trick. Yes, I just learned this. I watched somebody do it the other day. Somebody had told me about it a while ago and I was like, eh, I don't buy makeup sponges so I'm not gonna try it. But then I watched them do it on a live the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So yes, this sponge trick is awesome and you should definitely try it. <laughs> because when I normally paint, my sides are covered. Look at that, it's just perfect. There's not, I mean, you'll still get some on the edges and on this one either. Let's see, that one's perfect too. So just to show you an example, when I paint, my edges get covered, but when I use the sponge, the edges stay pretty crisp and clean. Good morning, Marcy. Nelda, good morning. Um, I'll take a quick little water drink here, water break. Good morning, Pam. All right, I'm gonna do a second coat of the orange on this. Uh, just because when it's starting to dry, oh, maybe it is dry. Let me do another coat right now. You can just kind of see the um, MDF through there. So I want to just make it a little bit brighter orange. And this is my first time doing this, but what I've been told is when you're done then, you just cut off the part that you used to paint. So you cut the two ends and until you don't have any sponge left. So you can keep reusing it over and over again. I might try and wash it actually like I do with my other stuff and see if it works that way. But um, from what I've been told, the best way to do it is to just cut the ends off. So we'll see. All right, let me. That's pretty dry. Just want to see where I need to go up with my blue. Let me find a smaller brush here. Trying to do this without getting it on my little piece that I worked so hard not to get messed up. If I would have um, not resized it, it cuts in two, two different pieces. So the top would be a separate piece and the bottom would be a separate piece. And then you wouldn't have a hard time keeping your paint separate because you'd know exactly where you needed that line to be. So. April says they wash well. So there you go, Rose. I guess you can wash these. So that's awesome to know because then they'll last even longer than cutting them up. Oh, I think, I think we did it perfect. I think that's awesome. I think that'll be perfect. So I'm just gonna bust out my dryer real quick here and finish drying this part up. Let's see if I have my power on. This is going to need probably a second little coat of this um, little stripe that I just added on to correct it. So I'll just dry that real fast. Dry it again so we can start gluing. All right, and just I don't think I've mentioned it yet. Hi, Angela. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Um, I don't think I've mentioned it on here yet. I am going to be starting a subscription box with the cutouts and then it will have a private Facebook group where we'll get together once a month and put the craft, the pieces together, paint and whatnot. Um, so if you're interested in that, send me a DM. I do not have a 
uh, sign up sheet yet or a wait list yet. Oh. Well, now that I have it done being painted and I got it put together, I see that it is off more than I thought it was, but that's okay. When it's, when it's the full version, it will line up perfect. Like I said, I did this in like 10 or 15 minutes before I had to be live. So did the best I could with the little bit of time that I had. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this blue one, I think, on the back and the orange one on the front. And don't judge, it's not lined up perfect, like I said, but it's pretty close. So there's what it's going to look like. And then I do have to reprint my words and it's going to say nuts about fall. So it's going to be super cute. I just got some blue paint on my hand and went over my orange. Let me fix that. There we go. So I'm going to push this aside. Let me look at what time it is. It's only 9 o'clock, guys. We got another 15 minutes and maybe even 30 minutes before the next crafter comes on. I don't remember. I can pull that up in just a second. And I can start another project with you. I thought that would take longer. <clears throat> The cool thing about the 3D pieces, though, is that it does. It doesn't take long at all. Hi, Louise. Um, because you don't have to worry about going over lines or anything like that. So it does make it easier. So give me just a second. I'm going to pull up and see how much time I've got left. I looked at it this morning, and of course, I cannot remember. Do, do, do. All right, so we actually have an extra 30 minutes right now, it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one with you, or at least start it. This is what my original plan was. This come from Diverse Woodworking. Very done with you. Yeah, but you gotta take your headphones off if you're gonna talk, you're too loud. Headphones off. <laughs> um, Diverse Woodworking, they have a subscription box. This was part of their first month subscription box, so it's not available right now. Um, the way they work their subscription box is that, I'm going to throw that on the floor right now, the designs are exclusive to the subscribers, I believe for a month. So this wouldn't be available until sometime next month. Um, but this is just cute little set of door tags. And one will have the little snowman on it and the other one's going to say, it's fall y'all. Um, so we'll go ahead. Let's just do our fun pieces here to start with. I can do the tags later, or if we still have time, I can do them with you, but we'll do the fun part first. I'm losing my, there we go. I'm running out of space in my room here, guys. Let's do, I think we're just gonna do the same colors. I really like these colors. Let's do, it's fall, y'all, hmm. Should we do the It's Fall, y'all, maybe in this color, the bluegrass green? Let me know what you think on that. I'm going to start painting with the, or start painting the pumpkin first. I'm going to switch here, get a new little brush. Oops, I actually already have some orange on here. I'm just going to start with my little pumpkin. Point you guys down just a bit more. <clears throat> My subscription box is going to work the same way, kind of, that theirs does, but my designs press. I'm sorry, guys. He's not, he doesn't have spatial awareness. Buddy, you're bumping my stuff. You're moving the camera around. Good morning, Deborah. Um, so back to my subscription box, sorry. It's gonna work the same way, except for my designs will be exclusive to my subscribers. So there will be designs that you're gonna see me painting or showing that are only available if you're in the subscription box. So each month um, I will post at the beginning of the month what we're gonna paint or what's coming out. Actually, you know what, it's probably, it'll probably be a surprise. It'll probably be a surprise. I haven't worked out all the details yet if you haven't figured. I've got most of the details worked out. So each month you'll get a new box, probably ship out by like the fifth or so of the month. And then towards the end of the month, we'll get together live and we'll paint our projects together. And my box isn't gonna just be door hangers. It could be a door hanger, it could be a shelf sitter, it could just be some ornaments. It'll be some sort of fun craft. Um, and it will come with all the supplies that you need. It'll come with your blanks, 
I'll send you some paints. Uh, the first box will come with some paint brushes and some sponges like I just showed and things like that. So you'll get some extra goodies in your first box. But if that's something that you're interested in, definitely send me a DM so that I can get your information and get you on my wait list for when we open the doors. I totally went over my line there. It's all good. When am I launching my subscription box? I... I really was hoping for next month, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna know the final details later today, so I will let you guys know. I was hoping to do, like I said, the beginning of September so that the first box would go out somewhere around the 5th. Um, it's either gonna be that or, or October though. The box, um, I believe, is gonna be $30 to start out with for the founding members, and then it may have an increase you know, going forward depending on demand and things like that, but I believe $30. All right, and this is just my base coat, nothing special here. And we'll do a little bit of shading here in a minute. Quit rubbing your foot on that, please. Please, thank you. He's down here watching YouTube with his headphones on so he can't hear. Good morning, Pauline, I'm doing good, how are you? Yes, Rose, that's going to include shipping. So, like I said, I haven't worked out all the final details. I'm thinking I'm going with 30. It's either going to be 30 or 35, but it is going to include shipping. Um, and you'll get your little craft box once a month delivered right to your door with all of your supplies. And then we'll get to craft together. So that will be fun. That's my favorite part is coming on here and interacting with everybody. I may, I'm thinking that I am gonna open it just to a limited number of spots to test out in September. Um, I'm just gonna be on my own in September. Everybody's taking off and leaving me. Shipping prices, I know, I saw that yesterday, Amy. I just got a bunch of stamps printed for work. I work from home and everybody's leaving me for the whole month of September and I can't drive. So I just got a bunch of stamps and then I read online that the stamp costs are going up. So I'm gonna have to go get some like one cent stamps so that I can use all the stamps that I just had printed for me from work. But yeah, I saw that the post just going up. That's not cool, but it is what it is. So that's my only reservation on starting um, in September too. Like I said, is I'm gonna be on my own. so. I won't have anybody to help me package anything or anything like that. I could start it with just a limited number of people, a small little handful maybe, like five or ten, and then I could probably handle that on my own, but maybe we'll do that. I'll post all the details later today or tomorrow and let you guys know for sure, but that is my plan, and I'm so excited to be able to craft with you guys. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to get out a smaller brush here, and I'm going to do my... Uh, do my stem. I think I'm going to do burnt umber for my stem. I like it a little bit darker. I just need a tiny little bit. Did I? I just grabbed the same brush after I grabbed a different one. I'm a ding dong. Did you guys? I didn't see anybody comment. Should we use this color for the letters? Rents a machine and weighs it, ships it out. They pick it up. Oh, wow. That's good. I used to do a lot of shipping. I used to do clothing, and so I did a lot of shipping with that, but that was easier because you could stick it in like poly mailers and you didn't need boxes and all the different things so it's a little bit more expensive to ship blanks and paints there's more more details involved in doing this shipping with this stuff I'm trying to get right in that teeny tiny corner he left me to go lay on the floor guys Check with the postal office. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, hi, Sally. Uh, let's see. Gotta run. Bye, Rose. Have a good day. Thanks for joining us. How long have I been doing this? I have been, I've been painting forever, but I just started doing 
door hangers actually a year ago. So, and then the tiered trays came next and the porch leaners and all of that. So I just got my laser. I haven't even had my laser for a month, but before that I was doing, I was just buying my blanks um, through a wholesaler. So I've been doing stuff like this for quite a while. All right, I think I'm gonna do burnt umber on his shoes as well. I do want this brush that I had grabbed. It's just gonna be better for my little details. I thought I just heard somebody come downstairs. I think it's Preston kicking stuff on the wall. He does not, um, honestly, has zero spatial awareness, none. He will climb up on the couch or on the bed next to me and whack me in the head because he doesn't have any idea how far away he is from me and he's like right on top of me. I'm like, dang it, dude. He ran my foot over this morning with a chair. It hurt pretty good. What's everybody's plans for the weekend? We're pretty excited to do our Monopoly Marathon. Use the blue, all right. Thank you, Pauline, I appreciate it. Use pirate ship. I have heard that, I haven't used it yet. I have done the shipping through um, PayPal. I use PayPal for a lot of my payments and I kind of like the way that their shipping is. I don't have any idea as far as pricing though if I'm getting ripped off or if I could get a better deal through pirate ship, but I will definitely give them a try. I just like with PayPal, it comes through the website. It's all just super. Your son sounds similar. Going to fake bake all weekend. Oh, that's something that me and my mom want to try. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. That sounds like fun. What are you going to be making? hands are so shaky in the morning I have a hard time on these ones staying in the lines we want to do some of the um you love pirate ship too good I will definitely check that out we want to do some of the like I don't know how to say it like the drinks so like holiday coffee looking drinks like the toppers on them I don't really know what they're called a bank holiday on Monday, awesome. Waffle cones and a topsy turf. Oh, that'll be so cute. That sounds like fun. We're always looking for new things to do and then my painting stuff usually comes first. I've been busy with a lot of um, orders lately, so that's good, I'm not complaining at all, but it just, with working and homeschooling, it just really limits my time on what I can try for new things. So we have not gotten to the fake bakes yet, but we are definitely gonna try that soon. I took the week of Thanksgiving off. We usually have family over for Thanksgiving and I help my mom get everything prepared. So maybe that week we'll have a little extra time and we can um, work on some fake bakes. All right, what about, let's go right over here to our colors. We're gonna do the this color for our letters. I'm gonna go right back to my sponge so I can keep my edges clean. Ooh, I love this color on here. Isn't that pretty guys? I love it. Good morning, Patricia from the UK. Welcome, welcome. All right, so there's our it's. I think for my background, I should keep an eye on our time too, now that I'm doing something different. 9.13, so we got about 15 minutes left. Um, I'm thinking for the backgrounds, making them look like, like outdoors, like he's standing on the ground or something, have the sky in the background, something like that. Whoops, I totally just dipped this in the wrong color. Child's always got his feet in something. He's over there kicking things on the wall now. The 
thing is I can't yell at him because he can't hear. He's got his headphones on. Good morning, uh, Nancy. After a while, if I keep saying hello to the same people, I think they're, uh, I think you're a different Nancy, but sometimes it just keeps popping up the same people later on in the video. And I don't know if I'm saying hi to the same ones or not. I love this color. I think this would be pretty with a brown. Here's our fall. 215. Oh goodness. Um, did somebody I thought I just saw somebody ask where I'm at. I'm not sure who asked, um, but I am in Michigan. Have I always homeschooled? Um, no, not always. He did go to school until second grade. He is now in eighth grade. So we've homeschooled for quite a while, but not always. He did start out in public school. He has autism and ADHD, OCD, um, sensory processing disorder. The public school system just didn't work for him. We had our, had our little plan and whatnot, and it just was not a good fit. So I pulled him out and have been homeschooling him since. We started with an online school actually in Michigan. There was a school in, oh goodness, where did we go? Zeeland, Michigan, it was called iCademy. So our first year, no, I think two years, our first two years he did public school online and then we switched to homeschool. So he's been homeschooling, I think this is our fifth year, fourth year, something like that. It all kind of blurs together after a while. I love that color too. It's very bright and I love it up against the burnt on the edges, which is kind of like a brownish color. I think those would look good together. Okay, what about maybe the classic caramel for his skin tone will work good. We'll kind of give him like a straw, straw kind of look for his um, scarecrowness. You like my made up words, guys? Yeah, this is really not too much different than the MDF itself, but I think that kind of is like a straw look, so we're gonna go with that. So I'm doing his hands first, and then I'll go up and do his face. What color shirt should he have? I was thinking like green or navy maybe. we're gonna we're obviously we're not gonna have time to finish all of this because I've only got about 15 minutes left but I'm not even gonna have time to do any of the shading with you guys so I'll just work on base coating for now and then as soon as I'm done here I have to run upstairs and go work anyways are the sheets of word for the Glowforge expensive <laughs> they are if you buy them through Glowforge they're very expensive so the MDF is what I typically use it's the cheapest I just love the way that it cuts um, it's $9 for a 12 by 20 piece of wood, so pretty expensive. And then if you do, that's the quarter, no, sorry, the 1 8 inch. The quarter inch is more. I think it's $12 for a 12 by 20. The navy shirt might look good. Yeah, I think so. Made up words are the best. <laughs> MDF is um, medium density fiber board, I believe is what that stands for. So it's just like like a bunch of chopped up stuff basically glued together. It's not actually wood, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a cardboard consistency feel. It cuts really, really good on the Glowforge um, and it's not as heavy as wood. And like I said, it's also cheaper. If you go for the wood through Glowforge, you're talking like 30, sometimes $45 for the same size, the 12 by 20. So 
Just a tiny little piece of wood for 40 bucks. That's a lot. Sometimes I use birch. I just got a bunch of birch. Um, so I typically, those are my, my two go-tos though. I love the MDF. I love painting on the MDF. I think it takes the paint really well. Good morning, LaTanya. Um, so it is my choice anyways, because the way it holds the paint, but it's also cheaper. So that makes things more affordable. Yes, it is. It's a lot like the Dollar Tree cutouts that you get. I think theirs are mostly on MDF too. It's a better quality than the dollar store. Theirs is a little bit flimsy. This is very, um, this is MDF too that I'm painting on right now. And I cut mine on MDF as well. So this one is a quarter inch and this one is the eighth inch. So you can see it's about half the size, but they're both very strong. Um, the only thing that I've had problems with is like words. Like you could, you could snap anything, but the words are a little bit flimsy sometimes because they're so small. But other than that, it's, still very strong it's very um very consistent to the wood this face is starting to look all splotchy from my brush strokes here i'll probably come through and do another coat on his face we got about eight minutes left guys until the next crafter comes on let's do I think I'm gonna do orange for his nose too no oh, I don't have any orange left on my plate I thought I did We'll give him some bright blue eyes. Maybe not. He doesn't really have eyeballs. Maybe he'll just have black, black eyes. All right, so we decided blue for the shirt. I'm gonna use this Admiral Blue. It's the closest I have to a navy right now. New from Houston, Texas. Well, welcome, happy to have you. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use this brush that was a lighter blue. I didn't clean off yet to do his shirt. So on his shirt, he's got the little like ruffle at the top. Should I do that? Maybe just mix white and do a lighter color. I want a printer on Amazon. I have a printer from before. I have the, um, oh goodness, what is my printer from before? When I did the clothing, the, um, Dymo label printer. So I have that. I just haven't used it yet for this. Up until recently, I mean, I wasn't shipping a whole lot. I would send things once in a while out of state. Um, so I didn't need to have a whole bunch, but now that I've got my cutouts, I'm sending, I'm getting more orders. So I definitely need a label printer. It'll make things easier on me. There's his shirt. I like that color. Goodness gracious. Let me see. Got a little orange on the end there, but that's all right. I'll cover it back up here with this dark. Just trying to get around those little, little parts so that I don't have to go back over and fix all my orange when I'm done with the blue. And even though I grabbed the smaller brush, I still messed up and went out of my line. Are the two tags going to be connected? 
maybe the blue of the words somewhere on him. So yes, these tags will be connected. So they'll, they'll kind of go something like this and you'll have the words on one part and him on the other part. So he'll probably go on the front and then the it's fall y'all maybe on the back. So they will be connected when it's all done. I'll have to post a picture for you guys when I get it all finished. We got just about five more minutes. Let's see if I can get the shirt done. And I think I still have it pulled up here. I can let you guys know who's coming on after me. What did I do? Here it is. Oh, I lost it. So it looks like yesterday's tomorrow's is going to be on after me. So make sure you stick around so you can watch yesterday's tomorrow's and their craft. Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, if you're hopping on here and haven't heard yet, we're going to come on live, Preston and I, tomorrow morning, probably around 9 o'clock um, Eastern time to paint some... I think we got Frankenstein pumpkins to paint, but we've got pumpkins of some sort. Five minutes. Yep, thank you. Thank you. He's paying yeah. attention for me. Um, and then on Sunday, we are gonna be back on live again with my blanks that I have ordered previously from um, wholesalers, and I'm gonna be selling those. Uh, it's just gonna be a $10 sale and then $5 flat rate shipping, so. Definitely check us out on Sunday, too, if you're looking for some things to paint. We've got, I think, just a few fall things, but quite a bit of Christmas stuff. So here's where we're going to leave off for now. I'll get him painted, and I'll get it all put together, and I will show you guys when I'm all finished. But there's our cute little words. And then let me quick show you again my acorn. This was our main project today that we finished earlier. And it's not lined up perfect, like I said, because I didn't size it correctly. But here is our acorn. And then it will have the cute little tags up top here, the leaves, and it's going to say nuts about fall on the front. I think I'll do the writing in brown on this one. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Stick around and watch the next crafter. We'll be live again tomorrow morning, Preston and I, to do our pumpkins. And then we'll be live again on Sunday for our $10 blank sale. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. Bye.